Well, it's early explorers, the Scott, Shackleton, Mawson kind of people. Um, there's some fiction, uh, some of it written by people who've been in Antarctica and some of it written by people who are just finding something to write a book about. Uh, there's uh, books about women in Antarctica as a sort of specialised area. Antarctic birds, and of course birds are a great thing about Antarctica. Um, all those penguins and albatrosses. Very exciting if you're into birds as I am. And uh, it, it's more explorers than anything else. I made a rule I wasn't going to buy anything in a foreign language. It didn't seem much point. And uh, I don't buy, didn't buy anything that was just straight scientific reports. That's all in the scientific journals and you know, people can read them. I think it was my parents gave me the paperback of uh, Absolute Cherry Gerard's The Worst Journey in the World, which, of course, is... I mean, that's a great book and uh, a major contribution to Antarctic literature. And it may have started with that, and I have down there a first edition now of uh, Cherry Gerard, which was a great deal more expensive than the Penguin. Uh, and uh, it just sort of went on from there. And then after 40 years, at the, the time it came around, I'd got all the exciting early stuff, which is the, the really exciting material. And I realised I wasn't sort of so interested in new books that were coming out. Something had come out, and I think I were to buy that, and I'd buy it. Um, but it, it didn't seem to be significant somehow. And I started thinking about what to do with it, and it uh, ended up here. I had the idea that the sensible thing to do with it would be to put it, some, put it on the market so that other collectors could have all the fun of buying it, uh, you know, one by one and around the place. And my son Christopher, who's here today, has a highly developed social conscience. And he said, Mum, you mustn't do that. You should put it somewhere where it can be useful. And when I thought about it, well, that made a lot of sense. So that's why I came here. So you should really be grateful to Christopher more than to me. <laughs> because he was the one who... Uh, he rang up Ian Terry and we went on from there. And I've been there twice now. Once down to the Ross Sea and once down the other side, the Antarctic Peninsula side. And it's just a wonderful, exciting, fascinating place.